Hello people. I can't keep it any longer. I bought a VMC. So it's a vertical machining center. In other words, it's a CNC milling machine. Um, so some of your guesses were quite quite close. Um, I've been looking for a machine like this for over a year now. And uh, they are very rarely um, uh, for sale uh, in good used condition in here and for good price. But uh, so far I'm very happy about the deal that I got for this machine. Uh, I won't tell you any exact prices, but it was it was a good price, I think. Uh, it was for the cheapest that I could find this machine anywhere, anywhere in the world, actually. And I found this in Finland, and my home home country, and it was actually even pretty close to me. So this is a Fadal BMC 3016L, uh, meaning that it has 30 inches of X travel, 16 inches of uh, Y travel, and I think 20 inches of Z travel. <clears throat> so it has pretty good moves. And what else? It's on a year 1999 machine, so it's not that old. I was actually looking at much older machines first. Uh, and uh, uh, I had an um, advertisement on uh, machines, um, machine selling uh, site, online site, that I, I want to buy a VMC. And I got lots of offers from... Um, um, from machines from 80s and and very little from the 90s, some from the early 90s, but that's pretty much the same stuff it was in the 80s. But then I got a call and he offered me a fadal. And I had done some research on milling machines, I mean VMCs. And <clears throat> I actually wanted a fadal in the beginning and now I just had a perfect opportunity and I took it. I had to take it. So here it is. Um, a few more specs. I already told you the, the axis travels, but it's got a seven and a half thousand RPM spindle. Seven and a half thousand RPM. So it's pretty fast. And it's got an umbrella type tool changer right there, uh, which has 21 tools. And the spindle power is 11 kilowatt, so it's a pretty powerful spindle. Uh, compared to my last video with uh, the Coromil 300, on this machine this only has a 3 kilowatt motor. And it has some huge losses in the drivetrain, running at the highest speed. So this will be a much, much, much more capable, capable machine in pretty much every aspect than this machine. And <clears throat> I told you I wanted a Fadal. And why I want a Fadal is that um, uh, in America, I think you all know who live in America, um, it's a very common and popular machine even among uh, guys like me who run tiny, tiny shops. And there's lots of free information available. Um, uh, tips on how to fix and, and adjust and run. And also there's very good um, markets for spare parts. They're not expensive at all. I think this might be the cheapest machine to repair. And and uh, talking about spare parts and, and repairs, why I like this machine especially, um, it's the L model, which might be bad for some, but it's good for me. It has linear ways on every axis, so it has changeable, removable linear ways on every axis. Um, I think the 3016 model without the L has boxed ways in all axes. And boxed ways are more sturdy and 
maybe when they come from factory they may be more accurate well maybe not maybe maybe not but they are more rigid and the, uh, the linear wires on this machine are not as rigid but they are at least not no less accurate and they can be adjusted to be perfectly accurate and if they were they can be changed and uh, buying a set of new linear ways and carriages is like uh, a fraction of the cost of having uh, box ways repaired and everything from the tool uh, retaining unit to the servo motors and the, and the ball screws and bearings and everything everything is still available and they are pretty cheap and even still this is a pretty capable machine and the control is also made by Faral it's an 88HS 88 high speed uh, and it looks like a, a 1960s uh, television um, but it's actually a pretty good control mm, I have uh, spent many nights looking at videos um, on uh, running this control and, and the machine itself and I like what I see it's easy to use uh, and it's uh, s uh, some kind of a conversional um, control so I'm not quite sure yet but it it kind of likes to help the user use itself so that's pretty nice and the control has five axis capability which is nice um, actually this machine was originally equipped with uh, the fourth axis but it's not it didn't come with the machine maybe one day I will get one um, uh, whether or not this machine has rigid tapping I don't know yet I will find out uh, what else well of course it has the RS232 um, um, data port which can be used to control this um, machine from um, a program sent from a computer so I think most of my programming I will do with a CAM program and not on the control but we will see um, and what else um, yeah actually I was supposed to say this at the start of the video but I, I forgot so I'm saying it now so take a look at um, Atman Unlimited channel Atman Unlimited machining channel on YouTube uh, he's a great guy I just happened to discover him uh, like two weeks ago when I had uh, closed the, the deal on this machine um, and he has every type and kind of videos about uh, Faral machines and he's a he's a very knowledgeable guy and he's also very good at explaining things and I sent some emails to him and uh, he helped me um, for preparing them to move the machine and also some other things and I think I will be contacting him again soon when I get this uh, back together and running as you can see there's some parts removed to make it fit through my door so take a look at his channel um, I think he will soon have much more subscribers and views than he now has awesome videos even if you don't have CNC machines go check him out you will you will like the videos okay so now a few words about how I moved this um, to start with maybe it has a pretty small footprint it's like uh, two inch by four inch maybe two inch by uh, two, two feet five by five feet maybe something like that it's pretty small so um, when we were loading the machine on the truck we did it with a forklift and it was pretty tricky because uh, the machine was um, um, in the uh, in the building corridor sitting like this and we had to drive the forklift in from here and you can see it's only like um, would I say one and a half foot or 50 centimeters with that um, truck uh, hooks can be I mean the, the forklift forks can be so it was pretty scary to lift and move it 
but there were a few people uh, hanging on the on the on the both sides of the machine and uh, watching out for it uh, starting to move but it actually went fine and we ended up uh, loading the machine uh, lengthwise on the truck so it was that front of the truck was that way and the back was that way uh, because the back of the machine is heavier <coughs> and 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 the lifting went fine um, and I took some pretty good video material from the move you will see that soon but it's it's a lot of video so I'll take some time to edit it hopefully this time I will actually do it and also I took some picture from the from the um, uh, parts that I had to disconnect so I can I can help you with this if you need any help in moving a faral. I think I'm now I now have pretty good knowledge on how to move a faral. Uh, some of the parts that I had to take off and the main part which is the uh, z-axis servo motor. And one mistake that I actually already did when I re removed this, uh, I don't know why um, I have brain fart or something, but I. I tried to rotate this and now I'm not quite sure which way it's supposed to be. Uh, I put a mark in here, but I don't know how many turns it has turned since the move. So I think we will have to reset the z-axis the somehow in the parameters or something. Gladly I have uh, all the manuals for this machine and also all the service records. Um, a lot of maintenance has been done on this machine. Uh, the Y and X servos have been changed. Um, the Z is still, still original, but the two others have been changed. And also the, the spindle uh, drive unit has been changed from Baldor to Yaskova, which is a much better. I've read that the Baldor unit has many problems, but this machine won't have those anymore. And also much other um, service has been done. Let me give you a little tour around. Um, here should be doors, but they're not removed. The table looks like this. Pretty nice flaking. And this is an American made machine. I think it's made in California. <coughs> Some spare parts and extra wiring for the Ford axis if ever needed. And they've added an extra light, which is nice. Some covers that I took off. And always are perfectly covered. And by looking at the paint condition, I think this machine has pretty low hours. I have seen pictures of other farals for sale and they have much more wear on the paint. And on the behind it looks pretty much like new. I still haven't hooked on the electricity uh, or the pneumatic air uh, and I won't do that until everything else is ready. And it has an automatic lube unit also. I'm not sure if it only oils the z-axis or all the axes. I'll have to find out. Okay, so a few words about the move in my end. Uh, here we used a huge crane to lift it. Actually, it was the, I think it was the second largest crane in Finland. Uh, it was the only one the guy had available. Uh, he's a kind of a friend of mine and a better friend of my other friend. So, and a very, very, very good crane operator. And here's the coolant pump. So maybe I can also show you something about the crane moving. But um, now talking about moving it inside, uh, it was really close fitting to fit inside my door. Actually also one of the crit criteria for the machine choice was that it actually fits inside here. Because my roof is, I mean my, my ceiling is pretty low. But that machine fits pretty nicely. When we moved it in, 
there was half a centimeter or five millimeters or like uh, less than eight of an inch of space between the uh, wall here and the machine even with all of the stuff removed and on either side there was like one inch or three centimeters of space and also here was it was only like half inch per side even maybe even maybe even less so it was really tight okay I'm now running out of uh, memory so I'll get back to you I hope you like this video bye